Hi, my name is Steve Banker. I'm the primary author of the Transportation Management Systems Global Market Research Study. I've been with ARC for over 15 years. I've covered logistics technologies for all of that time. And we've done the Transportation Management Study for over a decade. We've done other types of research on transportation management, including case studies and strategic reports and return on investment studies as well. When we look at the transportation management system solutions, we think there's two main types of solutions. One is planning and execution, which is a, uh, a system for folks that do not have their own transportation assets. So they need to tender out for trucks or, 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 or ocean or air, things like that. We do take a broad life cycle view of the market. So for us, the life cycle and the functionality to cover that life cycle starts with procurement, either strategic or tactical. The ability, once you've decided on who your strategic carriers are, to create a route guide. The ability to combine loads in clever ways to save money. The ability to tender out to carriers and go through the tender accept process. Creation of transportation documents transportation visibility and exception management. Once the moves have been made, the ability to audit those moves and make sure you've been charged the proper amount of money by carriers, and finally reporting in analytics. And for us, TMS covers inbound and outbound moves or some combination of the two. It's all modes except for oil pipelines, and it can be used either within a particular company or to support global movements. Transportation management systems also include fleet management solutions. Fleet management is a transportation management system involving transportation assets owned by the company. So it could be that you're a third-party logistics provider and you've got a bunch of trucks or other types of assets and people pay you to move those things. Or it could be you're a big retailer or manufacturer and you have some of your own transportation assets. The historical heart of transportation management, the fleet management side of it, has been routing and optimization. Within the last few years, routing and optimization has begun to come together with GPS style solutions and is broadening the footprint of this solution. For our purposes, any supplier that has a routing solution we include, or any supplier that has routing plus some sort of GPS kind of solution is included. We do not include standalone telematics GPS providers. Again, this type of solution supports inbound and outbound, multiple different modes, and it can be used domestically or globally. We're not actually going to provide you the forecast data. We do want you to buy the study. But I think one thing worth noting is that this is one of the fastest growing enterprise application markets. I've listed some of the top suppliers in this market, but we actually provide coverage of order over 40 transportation management system suppliers in this study. Uh, I don't want to talk in great detail about this. I just want to mention a couple of drivers and one key inhibitor and you know, just mention that there's more coverage of these, these things in the study. The key driver is just that a transportation management system offers a good return on investment. It offers good payback. And for companies that want to have a green brand, you can have CO2 emissions at the same time you're earning a very good return on investment. On the inhibitor side is the fact that a few years ago, transportation costs in general for fuel were higher. And there was more volatility around fuel costs. With the shale oil coming online and, and providing increasing productivity, a lot of the volatility in the market has gone away. And clearly, when fuel costs are higher, the return on investment for these solutions is even better. So who would want to buy this study? Well, primarily, historically, it's been suppliers. Most of the top suppliers in this market buy this study every year. And they do it because they, they want to understand how fast the market's growing. They want to understand who's gaining market share, who's losing market share, which areas are growing so that they can invest intelligently. The financial market also buys our studies. They tend to be particularly interested in fast-growing markets like this one. And finally, we do offer a supplier selection service. And we have a tool, we have services that go with it. And for a small additional fee, 
folks that are considering buying a transportation management system can also get access to this study. So if you'd like more information on the study, we've, we've got a URL up there. If you want a little bit more comfort about my domain expertise in this area, you can go to Logistics Viewpoints. My column is on Monday, and there have been many, many columns devoted to transportation management issues. Finally, if you're interested in talking to a live person, Russ King does our study sales. I've got his phone number up there. My email is on this slide, and I would like to thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this.